So this is Mr. Bison Worm. As you can see, it's a pretty big piece. Um, if I lean back, you can kind of see how uh, tall and wide it is. It's four feet wide by five feet tall. And of the three big bison head paintings that I did, this is the one that has the most warm colors to it, hence the name, Mr. Bison Worm. So this one has a lot of great golds, uh, browns, kind of warm, earthy colors to it, which I really like. And um, this piece was actually just featured on Apartment Therapy this month, October. So that's really cool. Um, it got a big sort of moment of fame on there. Um, I have prints available of this too. This is obviously the original. You can see this is a canvas. Um, I'll kind of turn it so you can see the back here. And uh, holding it carefully. So what I've done with uh, the other two of these is to recommend a black float frame. Uh, that's just kind of a thin border that goes around it, and that's a really nice way to finish off the piece. Since there is some darker blacks in it, you could probably also do a brown frame too if that fits your decor a little better. Um, and the bison really started for me as just a curiosity because bison are mottos and uh, symbols of a lot of things, but they are the state animal of Kansas. So I was curious about them. I love the way they're kind of wild. And um, I went out to the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge where I saw a wild herd of bison and we were able to get up really close to them. I took some photos and I was really struck by some of the photos I took straight on of the bison heads because I think they're really interesting. So, um, you know, this was the third one that I did. The first one was one where I bought some big canvases and I had never really painted on big canvases before. And I just kind of started painting one day and that's what came out. And then this is sort of a piece of that series of work. So let's see a little detail of this piece. This, like all of my paintings, has a ton of layers, so you can really see it when you get up close that there are lots of layers of color and texture beneath uh, what the finished piece is. You can see that where the paint gets pretty thick. And then there's some of these really beautiful swatches of color, like the yellow over the nose there. All of the brush strokes are really active, they're really lively, and I was really trying to capture that sort of wild spirit of the bison. Um, my personal favorite part of the piece is the bison beard. <laughs> I love all the different color that comes through there, which when you stand back, you don't see it as much. So um, there's a lot to be enjoyed about this painting, both from far back and close up. You can see the blue horn has a lot of detail. Really cool. This is one of my favorite pieces.